Hi folks, Mr. Tesalonian here. What we're gonna do today is convert an old three-way refrigerator unit like the one you see here in front of you from an RV into a alternative refrigeration unit. And all we're gonna use is water from my well. And that water is gonna go into this 100 feet of black poly pipe that you see right here. We're gonna run that in a coil design. I'm gonna have to build a coil out of that. We're gonna put that in the back of the fridge on the inside. One of the neat things about buying one of these from the junkyard was all the ammonia system had already been removed. I've just got these other parts right here to get off of it. The only thing I'm really interested in the fridge for is the insulated box. The rest of it we're going to do from well water and that black poly pipe. So let me go ahead and start stripping the rest of this all off the back of the fridge. We're going to go ahead and clean out the inside of it like any fridge you get. Probably got a little bit of cleaning to do. Once we've got that done, I'll show you how we're going to build the coil that'll sit in the back and how we're going to hook this up to the water. Then we'll do some tests with a thermostat and see just how cold our little homemade alternatively cooled refrigeration system gets. Okay, so this was a real simple project, not a lot to it, and it's basically completed. Before I put the door back on, let me just show you the coil. Get a good angle there for you. Big giant pancake coil made out of that poly tubing. And obviously, for thermodynamic reasons, I've mounted it up in the very top section of the refrigerator. That way all the cold from that's gonna drop down through the whole rest of the fridge. Give us a nice cold spot right here underneath it, obviously, where the old freezer used to be. I've removed the door of the freezer, that way the cool temperature can drop all the way down through the rest of the refrigerator. So what we're gonna do now is go ahead and put the door back on it. We're gonna get a thermostat ready, hook this whole thing up in the back. We're gonna be able to tell just how much temperature change we can gain by using that simple pancake coil and water from my well. And you can see the two lines going through the back back there. And here they are coming out of the back of the refrigerator. So we're just gonna hook that up uh, one side to an input and the other side is just for now gonna drain right out into the open. And we're gonna run this for a few hours and see how cool we can get it. All right, before we get this fridge totally started, you see the water ram down there? Here's the black pipe running all the way up from it right here and I've decided to mount the fridge right now for this primary test on the outside of the greenhouse and so here we have our fridge you can see our input line running inside the greenhouse tapped into the water line and right here is our output line and that is the water coming out from our water ram right there all right so it's been about an hour let's go ahead and open up this fridge take a look at what temperature it is oh look at that it looks about 43, 44, it's already starting to go up a little bit as I pulled out of the fridge. We're down to 43 degrees, somewhere in there, 44 degrees. That's a perfect temperature for a refrigeration unit. So here's a quick way I just thought of that we could check to see how close the temperature that we're gaining inside the fridge. So there's our temperature inside the fridge right there. How close that temperature is to the actual water temperature going through the system. So what I'm gonna do now, is go ahead and see if we can get the angle right so you can see the thermostat. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick the thermostat in the water. Let's see how much it drops, if any. Kinda of hard to get the right angle so the mercury shows up. Well, it's sure not dropping quickly. Let me get my thumb away from the end of the mercury just in case that's what's causing it. In fact, I'm not seeing it drop much at all. That means in about an hour and 20 minutes, we've been able to match the refrigerator's temperature inside to the actual water temperature flowing through the system. So we've hit our max capability within a very short amount of time. So from here on out, I can go ahead and start storing things inside of our refrigerator. What this means for me is later through the season, as my vegetables mature, like lettuces and other things here in the greenhouse, as you can see the asparagus and everything inside of there. So one of the things you can't see from back there is in between all the asparagus is a bunch of lettuces, different tatsoi, mabuna, uh, parsleys, different herbs. Over here in the center we've got cucumbers and zucchinis and peas and everything in there. So we need a place that's nice and cool to store those in between when I pick them and when I sell them. And this now naturally cooled refrigeration unit is gonna provide a space for me to store those vegetables after I harvest them, allowing me the capability to keep those vegetables on hand, obviously for a much longer time, even days now at the temperatures that I'm getting inside of that fridge. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This is Mr. Teslonian.